Hey, hey YouTube. Welcome y'all, welcome to Stivers Homestead. Hope y'all are having a good weekend. I'm Jen, he's I'm Zach. Zach. And today, we kinda realized that we need to get in gear. So we are six busy. weeks out from our last frost date. And while we have a lot already that's going, we've planted probably 60, 70% of what we need to. We gotta get to that other percent. So today, we are going at it. And we have a few categories. We've got to do some direct sowing. So for that, we're going to do our Swiss chard, the five color silver beet, and we're going to direct sow some Chinese red meat radishes. I've seen a lot of y'all growing these and they're absolutely beautiful. So I'm excited about them. They taste like meat. <laughs> and then we are going to direct sow the long black Spanish radish. Those look cool. They are cool. I've never seen them, and they're Baker's Creek, but I don't remember ordering them. It might have been a free one. Might have been. So I don't know. We're gonna try it. So that's our direct sow pile, and we went to the store this morning, and I got a new soil that y'all suggested, yeah. the Burpee, which everybody was talking about on my live yesterday. So I told y'all that our local Lowe's doesn't have much. It's like a very, very small area for gardening stuff. I mean, the lawn and garden area is big, but the indoor seed starting stuff section is tiny and all they have is Jiffy. So we actually went to the town next to us because their Lowe's is a little bit bigger. What do they call it? It's like a, a core Lowe's? Yeah. Like it's one of the, the core stores, does yeah. that make sense? I don't know. I don't know. But, but they had the Burpee. So we're gonna try this and see how that goes. Yep. And they didn't have any of the extra seed starting trays or anything. All they have was the little cardboard pellet things that we absolutely can't stand. Uh, we actually I also got this, the Job's Organic All Purpose, which I've been using this for a while, but yep. they had like a double a bag. Big bag. So, so we hopped over into another store and... First off, everybody's got those little cardboard pens. It's, you can't find anything no, besides those little carbo cardboard. Not around here anyway. We have to get right. everything off Amazon. But this morning was rushed. We were able to find this at another store and it was the only one that they had. So we got one. Yep. But it's better than the cardboard. And I've been using those, the grow bags for pretty much everything. Which brings me to another point. Yeah, speaking of grow bags. <laughs> Somebody sent me a whole pack of these and they're all different sizes. And I love them. So thank you to whoever that was. Yeah, that was super sweet. Yeah, that was a surprise yesterday when we went to check our PO box. So if that was you, let us know so yep. we can thank you. Thank you so much. So with the grow bags and this new tray and some direct sewing today, we are gonna knock a bunch out. Um, excuse me container gardening too. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do yes. some container gardening. My favorite. <laughs> so, we also went to the Dollar Tree. Love the Dollar Tree. Got a whole bunch of new pots and stuff, so that's gonna be our container gardening. And for that, we are going to start some spinach. It is the Vero Flay spinach from M.I. Gardener. And we're also going to start some Rose Bianca eggplant. So these are both gonna go in some containers. Y'all know that we love to try new things and we love to try things differently. So. I love container gardening. That's the experiment of the day. It's fun. <laughs> uh, Luke at MI Gardener is big on it too. He actually has an entire series on container gardening, mm -hmm. whereas where we got the idea for a lot of this stuff. Um, it's really cool if you haven't checked it out. He literally shows almost every single plant that can be grown in a container, which is almost everything. Yeah. It just takes a little, uh, little uniqueness, but everything can be grown in there. So. You haven't checked that out, it's really cool. Yeah. So in our new little pots and all of our new grow bags, we are also going to start some loofah sponge, loofah gourd, which I'm way behind on, but it's happening today. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna start some Detroit dark red beets from the Homestead Collection from M.I. Gardener. Sorry about my dirty fingernails, y'all. I've been playing in the dirt all day. They are gross. Part of it. <laughs> so we're starting those. If you haven't checked out the Homestead Collection from M.I. Gardener, do so. It is cool. awesome. Can you tell we're fans? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> uh, we're also going to do some Armenian cucumbers, which is a seed. It's an heirloom, but it's from our local nursery. So 
very excited to try that. And some Beet Alpha Cucumber from Baker Creek. Great for uh, pickling. And some Black Beauty Summer Zucchini Squash. We're going to start. Excited like about squash that. doesn't get much love. It doesn't. We it, love squash. It's two of the most popular vegetables here that <clears throat> this household will burn up. Yeah. They just don't get no love. Yeah. Plus, exactly. we're doing the three sisters this year, so we've yeah. got to get the squash going. And this is a Waltham butternut squash from the Homestead Collection from In My Gardener. So, that is the list. No, it's not. I got more. <laughs> Tea garden. I told oh, y'all I was yeah. starting this yesterday, and it didn't happen. So, these are going to go all by themselves. Where are they going? Um, probably somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> 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 but they're all going to be together because I don't want to lose track of my tea garden stuff. I want them to stay those? together. No, they're going in the little oh. throw bag. So I've got some anise. This is all my tea garden. Caraway. Lemon mint. Italian dandelion. Lemon balm. German chamomile, licorice basil, cracker jack marigold mix, lavender, common English, some hyssop, some fenugreek, and some lime basil. So that is all the tea garden, which is all and my gardener's tea garden kit, which I talked to y'all about on my live. Um, this, the lime basil is Baker Creek, but that's the last one. So, there it is. That's hey, everything. Can those be container <clears throat> garden? <laughs> my tea garden is precious. We will not be experimenting with the tea garden. <laughs> so there it is. Y'all right. follow along. Wish us luck. We've got to get this done today. It's gonna be a busy day. Yep. Catch y'all later. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. So I've planted the eggplant. You've planted. I've planted two things of squash. I thought uh, you got cucumbers too. Oh, well, those are these. Oh, okay. Well, these little things are really cool. This is what we're working on now. So we both got those done, and then we're now filling these up, the little grow bags, which we love so much. And these are going to be all cucumbers because we love cucumbers. And so does everyone we know. Yes, so we're gonna probably be giving a lot of those plants away, maybe even sell some. Yeah, and see how cool they are. And a uh, little tip, the bags, if you turn them inside out, they kinda gotta, they sit. So if you just do them regular, they have this bottom that's pointy and they don't sit real well. But if you turn them inside out, they sit yep. really nice. It's a little more time consuming to fill all these up, but it's worth it because so these are all the Bonnie Best tomatoes that we transplanted into these, and look at them. I mean, they have tripled in size since we did it. So it's definitely worth it, worth the extra time and effort, but it makes everything so much happier. And these are all the squash that I just got planted in our new containers. And look at the difference in soil. So this is the Jiffy. That's what we had left, so I yeah. just went ahead and used it. And then this is the new stuff. What's it called? Burpee. Burpee. And you can physically see how much more coconut fibers in there and you can tell that that's kind of the main component, which is nice. That uh, is a key component to soilless party, uh, party mix. So I don't know, it seems really rich and we'll see if it works better, but we got plenty of different potty mixes in here to try to figure out which one's better. Yep. Okay. So back to work. We're back to work. Finish up the cucumbers. Go. Cool. All right. We finally got everything planted. Well, most of it. What are you doing? Just take a look for the corner. <laughs> <laughs> um, we didn't get the direct sun stuff done because we have some bad weather coming in tonight. It was, what, 60, about 65 degrees today. Yeah. By the way, Karen came to help. <laughs> uh, it, was about, it was about 65 degrees today and it's gonna drop down to what, the 30s or yeah. 40s tonight. And so we got some bad storms mm -hmm. coming in. So. We're gonna worry about the direct sale once that passes, but we've got everything that needs to be started, started, yep. right? So. All right, let's show y'all. Let me pull that back. 68 right now. <coughs> so I'm gonna, we're gonna show just everything that's in the greenhouse right now. So there's all the flowers. 
We'll meet tomorrow. Snapdragons and Zinnias and uh, Sweet Streamers mix. 28 tomorrow. That's terrible. These are Autumn Bell Sweet Peppers. So they're all coming up. This whole tray is all those different varieties of tomatoes I showed y'all that I had inside, but now they're out here. And some of them are starting to germinate, but you can't see them yet. All these back here are beefsteak tomatoes. We just planted these today. These are all loofah gourds which I was behind on, but I'm glad I finally got those in because I know they take forever. Um, these are all, this entire tray is cucumbers. It's two different varieties. The ones that I showed you we were gonna plant. These two trays right here are my tea garden. So those are all the tea garden seeds. By the way, y'all, tea garden seeds are so microscopic yeah. if you didn't know. Well, I'm not good with herbs and flowers anyway, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I tried to follow the directions as closely as I could, so we'll see. That's our test of life. Yeah. These are tomatoes and zinnias. These are all Bonnie Best tomatoes, doing great. These are all my pepper varieties that I showed y'all. They're on the heat mat. And they're, we have a few of them starting yep. to germinate. Right. right there. Yep. I don't know if, probably can't see it. But. They're starting to. And these are some lettuce plants that I had left over that I didn't have room for in the raised beds. So I'm actually giving these to um, some family members. So for now they're in cups. All those cups back there are some pole beans that two family homestead gave us at the gathering. So I'm really excited about those. And I'll let y'all know how that goes. There's Raylan's flowers. All our cilantro that we keep picking at and eating. <laughs> Onions, basil, mint. Y'all have already seen all that. These are more Bonnie Best tomatoes. More Bonnie Best tomatoes. This is the new tray that we showed you that has two different varieties of squash. So I've got a zucchini squash and a butternut squash that we planted today. And then these are the Homestead Collection beets that I showed you and onions and there's all our peas they're in because we got some crazy weather coming so and then the lime green pots Zach just planted his spinach so that's what's in there so that's everything that we showed you that we were gonna plant we got it done except for the direct sown stuff all right y'all so I hope y'all enjoyed seeing everything that's in the greenhouse today man we've been busy but this is some fun stuff. I can't wait till everything's in the raised beds and in our garden and everything's thriving. But for now, we're just enjoying watching all the life in the greenhouse. And I hope y'all are enjoying it as well. Yep, and it is full, you can see. It's full of life and life coming up. There is no more space in here except for the ground. <laughs> That's right, we can use it if we need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we hope that y'all have a great weekend and we hope y'all got some planning done too. And we will see y'all next time. Hey, y'all have a good one.